population is the South. The South covers Texas, Brazil, Africa, South Asia is Hong Kong, Shanghai. It has a three star. Three represents springtime. Three is a wood energy. It supports the South direction of fire. Wood supports or builds more fire. So there's a good inherent energy of the South. It can bring a lot of change. Three is a scholarly energy. So a troop of philosophers, scholars, spiritual leaders, they will come out in this area and help people have hope, direction, guidance, new ideas, new developments to stimulate the economy. We have to start thinking out of the box, and these are people who are going to come out in this area to do that. The South, the fire energy, also relates to females. So females are still very strong. The South also relates to the economic sectors of beauty, massage, design, innovations, food, consumption goods, expo. Those are still increased in this area. There's a double eight. So actually with the annual and the 20 year cycle, there's quadruple eight. Real estate will start to go back up. And especially for female businesses, female, we're gonna see female business tycoons and real estate tycoons, female owned construction companies and female developers, they will thrive. Their mentality, their way of doing things, the way they relate to people is gonna be a completely different way of how business was ran by men in the last 20 years. And they will also be benefactresses to the children of the world because this is where the priority lies. So the leadership of women is going to be crucial. The South also has the Sansa. The Sansa energy comes to a different direction every year. It can bring unexpected disasters. With the three star, I think it might bring the lawmaking. So in other words, they are wanting to be changes. But government slows things down. Paperwork, red tape will slow things down. Southeast. Southeast has a seven star, a three and a four. The seven star is a very aggressive metal star energy. Southeast is a wood energy. Metal depletes wood. So in the southeast, this is where all the resources are going to be coming from. The southeast countries, in terms of labor, in terms of natural materials, are going to be very depleted. So I find the mines, the earth, the ground, the wells are going to be dry or used up. And this can cause a lot of the rebellion, revolt from the civilians. The southeast is also an area where Haiti or the Caribbean islands are located. And this brings a disaster and that is there. Seven is a energy we, we call cutting or bleeding. So on that sense, seven star in those areas relate to also the aggressive female, so prostitution, surgical methods, cosmetic surgical or weight loss surgical methods, those sectors will rise. The three and four star still brings very stormy weather. So southeast to our United States is the Florida, Caribbean islands, Cuba, Georgia areas. And the Asia is the Philippines, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia. We still have a lot of floods and hurricanes. In the east, two and five are the sitting and facing stars, and six is the base star. The east relates to, of course, Asia, China particularly, and uh, East also is Europe, and the United States, the East Coast, North Carolina, is the center east of our East Coast. East is the wood element, six is metal. Metal defeats wood, so again. One interpretation of this on a global level is East also represents China, and six represents West, metal. So they are in conflict with each other. They all find a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of the talks between the two of them, but also a lot of lack of appreciation for each other and lack of compromise, causing a stalemate, which both sides lose. The East energies are also related to our liver, so toxins. The East, especially in China, as they grow, become industrialized and capitalistic society, they're growing much too fast and they will suffer a lot of these side effects of pollution, ailments, toxins, and financial stress. On the East Coast, six of them is the government or main leader. Still a lot of viruses. So I'm concerned also for the leaders in China and the leaders in the United States. Not only their country is sick, even they may be prone to ailments.
Two and five are ailment stars, corruption stars, violation stars. They are still here. So there's still a lot of the under table, black market things going on in Asia and even the United States and the East Coast. Northeast. The Northeast has the seven, nine, and two stars. Incidentally, nine years ago, 2001, the two star was located in the Northeast, and that was the year 9-11 occurred. We've come full cycle. It's been nine years since 9-11, but this star is back now. So I, we do predict potential terrorist activity. If not that, then we call a very, pan, very, very serious pandemic or virus. So you, you must keep positive. They, they, if everybody is stressed already by the economy, it can cause a lot of ailments. We call in Chinese, all ailments come from the heart. If you're stressed, your immune system is already compromised. So try your best, stay positive, focus on the health. On the positive side, two, and northeast is eight. Two and eight become 10. 10 is what we call perfection. So it still can bring positive connections, partnerships in these areas of the government. Two is also the female, the matron. So females will come into leadership more and more in the government. Companies that have gone down will now rise again with new female leadership. The new CEOs will retire. They cannot do the job properly and a female will come. And in the Washington DC, more and more of the male or older male politicians will come down and be replaced by the more younger females. And when I see two and eight together making perfection, it means that the two females will come to rise and Northeast represents children or civilians, the country's children and our civilians. They are accepting. It's a good partnership. They're able to work together better. And on the Northeast is Beijing, two and eight together, it means the real estate there will improve. All the stars are feminine. Seven, nine, two are all feminine. Seven, nine is also fire. So we can still may see some sex scandals in those areas, some clashes, or potentially terrorist activity. And I wrote down mistress domination. There are a lot of strong females who want power and know how to get it. Still there, and more so now. 